Now, we've already shown you a number of different ways I can position the same dog and have widely different OFA hip x-rays. Now, so you realize, OFA would reject many of those positions very quickly and say, nope, got to redo this, these are not acceptable. But I want you to get a reality on what I see in the real world. So I'm going to start out with this dog that had this excellent set of hips, really a pretty set, and remember, I'll talk to you about the positioning. The femurs, these long bones that go from the pelvis to the knee, are almost perfectly parallel. The kneecaps, these little round things that look like beans down here, are very close to being in the middle of the bone. That's what we want. The next thing is we want the pelvis to be level. So if you look at these holes, these are called the obturator foramen. They're not perfect, but they're very close to being the same size. So that means we've got the pelvis very close to being level. So the legs are parallel, the kneecaps are in the middle, and the pelvis is close to being flat. And we get an excellent OFA grade. Now, let's go on and look at a dog that didn't do so well. This dog, you can look at and know that he's really got bad hips. First off, you see how flat this head is? And it's flat over here? It should be at least halfway inside the cup. But we're not inside halfway. This one might make it halfway, but it's barely on the edge. And then we look at the picture itself, and you look back to that dog that had an excellent in your own mind. Wow, first off, are these femurs parallel? Doesn't look like it. Looks like they're not parallel to me. The next thing we want to look at as well is the pelvis level. Wow, this obturator frame is huge, and this one is much smaller. Okay, well, let's look at the kneecaps. This patella is to the outside. See that round thing right there? And then this patella is to the outside. See that? And then, of course, this leg is shorter than the other leg. You can see that. But that's because this leg is up too high from the table. Okay, so there we go with what we uh, see as a dog that's not got pretty hips. What did he get from OFA? Oh, OFA graded this guy as a mild hip dysplasia. So this film was accepted and read by OFA. Now let's go on and look at another dog that did better. Okay, now here's a dog that if you look at this fella, the femurs are close to being parallel. They're not perfect, but they're close. The kneecaps are close to being in the middle. They're a little bit to the inside, but they're fine. And then we look at the pelvis. Is it love? Well, they're very close to being the same size. So we've got the femurs almost parallel, the kneecaps to the middle or to the inside, and the pelvis is flat. Golly, this is a nice x-ray. Let's see what this dog graded. Ah, he got an OFA good. Now, let's see a little comparison. The funniest thing, this dog here and this dog here had the same microchip number. So the question for you to answer is, which one of these pictures do you want sent into OFA for your final grade as far as hip dysplasia? Well, all of the clients I run into are more than happy to have me get really picky and be precise with my positioning. And that's what the whole message here is. Dogs like this are tricky. They're hard to get in the position that it should be. Then you've got to really look at it and see what is the precise position. Can we get it close to the pelvis being level? Can we get it close to the legs being parallel? Can we get the kneecaps close to the middle? That's what we're looking for. And that's what this whole DVD is about. To give you the concept that you must, must, must be precise with your positioning in order to get the correct OFA grade based on the true anatomy of your dog, not based on the positioning. Thank you.